42 state AGS, elected prosecutors sign statement refusing to enforce new abortion bans. Elected prosecutors from a long list of states vowed to uphold the landmark abortion ruling in Roe v. Wade and use their M as legal. The signatories included district attorneys as well as the attorneys general from California, Vermont, Delaware, Massachusetts, Nevada, Maryland, Michigan, Washington, D.C., Illinois, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. The statement came as the nation intensified its debate over abortion in 2020. Democratic candidates formulated ways to counter a multi-state pro-life agenda that could reach the Supreme Court. Not what? The statement was the latest indication that a series of pro-life victories would have to overcome resistance both within and outside of the government, a state and federal abortion restrictions including heartbeat legislation, clinic regulations, and surgical abortion bans have already faced legal challenges from groups like Planned Parenthood and the American Civil Liberties Union ACLU. In their statement, the prosecutors specifically called out and Daddy Cheo, which have faced lawsuits over their restrictive abortion measures. While some state and federal laws have faced defeat in the courts, the ultimate decision might come from the nation's highest court as neither side appeared ready to back down. On Wednesday, the issue once again dominated national conversation as 2020 Democratic candidates appeared to attack their frontrunner's position on federal funding for abortion. Former Vice President Joe Biden, a perceived moderate among a slew of progressive candidates, supported the Hyde Amendment for decades, his position on Thursday. Yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, park.